Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. Of course, I go by Luna Nates. <laughs> and what I'm creating for you today is part of our Listen and Session project. The final portion of a book we've been working off of regarding the seven sacred flames. And so, this is a session to support connecting with the violet flame of transmutation, freedom, diplomacy, alchemy, and support through, of course, the ever-evolving, ever-unfolding, process of knowing yourself, of clearing karma, or what's the word, in your taxes or in your finances when you like rectify it. I forget the proper phrase, but supporting karma, supporting forgiveness, and most specifically for me, in my connection to this, supporting the spiritual and mental alchemization to extract the gold from even the darkest of situations to use that as a light to move forward on our path and not become stuck, stagnant, manipulated, held, tethered in any way. We want to hold our own hands as we run here through the journey of the soul Right. So, before I begin, I would like to call upon the Ascended Master associated to the Violet Flame, Saint Germain. And I would like to call on the ruler of the Violet Planet, Omri Tas, to be with us all in an omnipresent sense to support our connections here, to support the practice, to support the anchoring, the continuous flow of the violet flame meanings and messages and healings and movement and progress through ourselves at all times, calling upon us to anchor. I made a candle just for this. Just for this session. Looks like this. I wish you could see better, but there's some violet flowers and pinky and magenta sort of colors. Just yummy stuff. and greatest good and perfect comfort and alignment. It's our intention to call forth the violet flame for it to show up in our lives, to be present, excuse me, present in our lives as we navigate to make the lessons more softer, a little more comfy, a little more gentle, create comfort through our lessons, comfort through our challenges, comfort through all of it, right? The high highs, comfort, calling it in through the violet flame, 
calling in that spiritual alchemy, the balancing, the harmonizing of power and love in our beings and in our experiences, the masculine and feminine calling it forth, harmonizing, balancing the left, the left and right minds, harmonized, balanced, alchemized, tempered, We call forth compassion. We call forth the ability to process, to validate, right? Not to be an ostrich, not to deny what we're perceiving, but to work through it, to validate it, and then use the ultimate supreme power of your God force mind to extract the gold and light your way with this beautiful eternal flame right and if you have your own intention here that you would like to set please have a look at this beautiful little glow this gateway doorway passage this point of connecting between worlds supporting you and I and the brotherhood of humanity on behalf of our souls, claimed in the light of benevolence, claiming our souls attuned to good, to progress, to training, training the mind, to focus on what you can take from this and move and build with. of the divine, which of course you are a part of. This is part of your intelligence. And trusting all in divine workings, all in divine alignment, and clearing any disconnection from your ability to trust in yourself, in the things that are a bit more mysterious, being okay with mystery. through, focusing deep through the subconscious and focusing through as if we're reaching through the skull to come through the zeal point, the mouth of God, chakra. wisdom, your past lives, if you're open to that, of this lifetime of all dimensions and realities and spaces, all the lessons you've accumulated, lifetime upon lifetime upon lifetime, all the training you've had, all the lessons, all the times you've turned a pile of lead into gold, call it forth to your awareness, your resonance. We're going to call through with these 
I wish I had a pink, but we'll have to make do with red. <laughs> Bring forth your spiritual alchemy, the power of your mind, the power of your will, laced with the power of love, compassion, field, bringing these forces together. The violet I'm going to place this at your feet. This is a violet flame. I get supportive. And we want to call upon. Kuan Yin, as we rest this near your feet, to support your compassion, your forgiveness of you, of all the situations where wrong has been done to you, or you have caused wrong, done wrong, and I'd say that in the absolutely least judgmental way. forgiveness around you, to take the lesson, to extract the gold, Say like a lavender, slightly purple. Good thing. And the stone is so good for transitions, transformations. So we want to call this in and channel through these intentions, this focus. As the flame surrounds you, we can call it in. I call you in to every atom, every cell, every electron of my being 
to support you and I and all of us through this time to forgive, to alchemize, to empower, to transmute all of the challenges in our lives we call upon it and we experience our own beauty we create comfort we create comfort in ourselves in our very bodies and our very experiences as we're kind to ourselves we create comfort in the world around us as we encourage as we soothe as we are kind as we make others laugh <laughs> and how that moves energy and creates comfort in so many ways just moving through your entire form because we really want to focus on all of your bodies mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, ethereal all the layers of your aura Deep into your thoughts, the mind, the power of the mind, supported by the violet flame. isn't into me, but now I know I, I want that. <laughs> Forgive me, I just have to fix my little top here. Here we go. <laughs> but take it and run with it. Get to the touchdown with whatever you can take. Whatever way you can shift to support you. And others. This isn't to erase the reality, this isn't to reject or deny our pains or the pains of others or things that are unjust because there certainly are but it's a way to stop it and direct it ourselves, a way for us to step in and really be those representatives of the divine here embodied doing the hard, deep, slow sort of work that will bring about great change, a golden age, heaven on earth it comes from compassion first and the will perhaps first See yourself breathing it in. See it reaching every cell, every organ, every function, every magnetism, every aspect of you physically, subtly, emotionally.
well adjusted, easily moving through the frequencies to raise your vibration, to support you as you navigate with compassion, with reflection, with the ability to transmute it all. You're the one that does that, right? The flame helps you, yes, can help you. The intentions help you, but it is your will and devotion to yourself and compassion and justice and heaven on earth or whatever it is that you think of that is truly what is doing the work here. It's all within you already. You are the seven sacred flames. You are the prism that light shines through and you direct, you highlight, you emphasize, you empower. It's all shining through you. The blue, the gold, the pink, the white, the green, the orange, the purple. It all shines through you, always. You are the rays. You've always had this power. And the more you intentionally work with it, the more empowered it becomes in you, the more the more aligned, the more reliable, perhaps, it becomes. So, please remember that, you beautiful, beautiful diamond prism, just piece of consciousness. You're sharing so much light on all the world, and I'm, for one, am very grateful to you. Right, this is a little bit of a short session, but it's just to get us in that connection. There's a simple Keep going to grab something else and I'll just direct it back to you because I think that's all we need right now. Right from the very bottom of my heart, dear friends, thank you for being on this journey through the seven sacred flames. It was truly, truly, truly beneficial for me. I hope it has been for you. I thank you so very much, truly, deeply from the bottom of my heart, and I bow. I bow to the divine in you, the ascended masters in you, the ascended soul in you, your shadow, your light. I bow to the completeness of you and the divinity within you, which is nothing you ever need to be afraid of. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful aspect of who you are. And myself, same goes for me. <laughs> Thank you so much, bowing to that light in you and wishing you nothing but the very, 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 very best. Much love.